Hi, I'm Beverly Brunel, an intuitive energy worker, author, writer, cook, <laughs> adventurer. And the adventure I want to take you on today is an inner one. The question I pose is, what story have you lost yourself in? What story have you given yourself away to? What story have you been telling yourself that is, what is the word, that is softening, that is, <clears throat> that is covering up the spark of light that you are, the stream of light that you are, the flow of magnificent frequencies of light that you are. What story has been given to you that you've said, yes, I will take that as the definition of who I am. Yes, I will take that as the meaning of who I am. It is actually not yours. Perhaps it came from ancestry. Perhaps it came from the parental conditioning that they came from that they passed on to you. Same idea, ancestry. Perhaps it came from culture. Same idea, ancestry. Perhaps it came from the current social dynamic of your community, of your family, of this part of the world that you live in. I'd like to take you on a journey an inner meditative journey, a guided energy clearing journey to support you to open up the book of the story. That the story is there, but you are here. You are not necessarily needing to be enmeshed in it any longer, and you can be at choice. And I can support you to disentangle from the story and allow it to, as it were, dissipate from its hold on you and your hold on it to define who you are or how you are in this world. For there is more for you to come forth in this moment, in this day, in the weeks and months and years to come, no matter what your situation. It's time for us, as it were, to wake up from how we're holding ourselves back or how we're allowing someone else to hold us back or seemingly allowing them, but it's us who are lost in that dynamic, we have a choice to recover ourselves, to disengage, to stand for who we are without, with ease and, and uh, I'll call it efficiency. Joy and delight. How's that one? Try that on. Joy and delight. Expressing and being and living more of who you are and being awake and curious about the mystery of that. So, if you're willing to experiment here, I invite you to close your eyes. <laughs> and bring your awareness from all the words that I have put out, all the ideas that I've put out, the day that you have come from, the day that you are going into. And bring your attention down into your heart space. And simply notice your breathing. In this heart state are the secret reasons, that we, as it were, as to why you've allowed yourself to be lost. <clears throat> as you've given power to others to define you. And to co-create with you. I invite the love in your heart to wake up its delicious marinade to shine its brilliance on those hidden stories. To shine its light, its major high frequencies of light on those agendas. So that you can be more free to express who you truly are, how you truly feel, what you truly want to dance, to sing, to communicate, to touch, to feel very present in your life. 
and make new choices that honor you, that celebrate you, and the world that you live in, in new ways. So without trying to figure out how that's going to happen or how that's going to look like or what that's going to look like, relax your mind again into that heart space and feel that heart light glowing within you and growing in its glow as it gently infuses its energy into all the different nooks and crannies where those secret holdings, where those secret um, entanglements have been kept for many eons, perhaps, for many years, perhaps, for lifetimes, perhaps. Welcoming their original intentions of creating safety, protection, belonging. Maybe they were a form of survival at the time. That was then and this is now. Inviting the current of wisdom to come through and to inform all those times, all those scenarios, all those aspects of you to bring you current now, present now in your body, where you are standing, sitting, walking, being, experience. So bring up all those stories. As it were, placing them, disentangling and placing them in the library of life, but they're up there on the shelf. They aren't in you being lived out. You don't need to live on all those characters any longer. Again, that was then, this is now. Inviting that love to expand out through the ancestry, out through your early development, and through all the decisions you've made to Be in those stories of limitation. Be in those stories of being controlled, being manipulated, being limited, being made wrong, being directed in ways that aren't authentic to who you are and how you want to be. And to your, I'll call them divine gifts of life in the world, your uniqueness. Inviting that deep, deep, deep infusion to clear those connections and calling all your energy free, clear, and pure from those entanglements, free, clear, and pure from all those embed the ways you've been embedded and given value to <clears throat> those stories. Is it called divesting? Divesting your interest? Closing out those accounts? There we go. And integrating all the shifts and changes so that you see, hear, feel, and notice the changes, the differences in you, in your perceptions, and your ways of being with great joy and delight and creativity. Feel the energy moving in your body in new ways. Perhaps give your spine some nice circular movement, your head, your neck, your shoulders. And look for what's new in your relationship with yourself, with others, have more fun, more pleasure of you being you, more, more curiosity about who you're becoming, what you're becoming, what gifts you have to give, to celebrate. This is a short, dynamic meditation. There's more to explore. If you'd like to have a session with me, you can contact me at beverlybrunel.com. Meanwhile, let's thank that heart light for its delicious marinade, its magnificent healing capacities, and the new freedom that's been created for you and all involved. Feel what you feel in your body. When you've already opened your eyes, look around the room and notice your eyesight often is much more clear, much more um, the peripheral vision opens up. Please journal any words of wisdom, any insights that came to you during that short meditation and know that change has happened.
that there's more of you available to be in the world, to add value to the world, where there is much for you to receive as well. Enjoy the journey. <laughs>